hope everybody here is doing this how you were supposed to go into your day. Uh, with us, we have Anthony Boswell on the left, Coach Anthony Edwards in the middle, and Dante McGill on the right-hand side. Um, Coach, we'll start with an opening statement mm -hmm. and then we'll take some questions. I'd like to thank everyone for coming today and welcome uh, to, to the FIU. Um, Team's been working extremely hard this, this past few weeks. Uh, coming together, we have a number of new players, uh, guys returning uh, who are playing new roles, things of that nature. So it's good to see the team. It's good to see how hard they've been working over the past few weeks. And we're excited for the start of the season. deeper than we were last year. We got a lot more talent, guys coming in, and um, players just had to be ready to play their roles and just and just get it, uh, just play hard. That's it. Especially with my teammates and show them things that Coach Williams can see how to how to do it. So yeah, thank you. Coach, with this, you know, coaches are always worried about scouting. What what keeps you up at night? What what areas you notice before you actually take a step and say time about the game? I'm not really worried about uh, us stepping on the floor. You know, you always worry about injuries, things you can't control. But in terms of things we can control, we're going to play hard. We're going to compete every time we step on the floor because that's something that we preach every single day. So the unknown, injuries, things like that, probably what I worry about more than anything else. With some players have some you know, deals and some guys some graduation offers. Sure. Talk about how you're able to or how you're looking for some of those guys. Well, uh, Mike Kessens is uh, someone we brought in. Uh, he was a transfer from the University of Alabama. And uh, Mike's a very experienced and mature player. We think he can help fill the void of what Adrian left. Um, Rich Bivens, a 6'8", 6'9", player from LA, uh, another one who can step in and give us some time there. Cam Smith, and there are a few others. Hassan uh, is back this year. He was injured last year. So all of those guys we think as a combination can help us make up the difference from losing Adrian. Obviously, shot blocking was a big thing. I don't think anyone will be able to fill that void. But collectively, offensively, defensively, I think uh, we'll be able to fill it. Without that big shot block at the back, how, how is your defense going to, going to even try to pack on the perimeter because you don't have that big length on the guys? Well, yeah, I think the perimeter guys can uh, gamble as much. Uh, I think they have to be solid and do a better job out there. And then we have to take charges. You know, we have to wall up around the rim because we don't have that rim protection. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Uh, that, that was the idea when we recruited, uh, to be able to do things, to have a variety of offenses, defenses that, that we can run, and to be versatile enough, guys play multiple positions, defensively to get out and switch and things like that. So hopefully having light-sized guys, it'll help us defensively. I think they're doing a good job now, you know, clearly. As the season goes along, we'll get better. Uh, but I think we're at a good spot right now, especially with all the turnover and, and all the new guys coming in. Press a little, um, run some more. I don't think we had a lot of transition baskets last year, and that's something that we've tried to emphasize in, in uh, preseason. So we're looking to do that. But you know, again, we're going to play uh, control basketball. It's not going to be. 40 minutes of pressing. It's not going to be the first five seconds in the clock. We're going to shoot the basketball. You know, we're going to play team basketball. Uh, we're going to get the ball up the court as quickly as possible, take a good shot. Yeah, so when you play that style, when you can draw your eye on who goes in that switch phase, sure. the action, is it, is it easier to play that style maybe when you have six, seven guys that are athletic and they can take shots and take, take guys that are lunging? 
not for me, because you give up control when, when you do that. You know, it's more so in their hands to make good decisions offensively, defensively, to play without fouling. But, you know, sometimes you, you sit on the side or you stand on the side and pull your hair out because, you know, there are things that are happening that you can't stop. But, you know, again, they've done a good job with it, so I'm happy thus far. All the teams that we lost to last year, D-line, Florida Gulf Coast, uh, Stetson, South Carolina, all those games I want to get. Like, I mean, of course I want to win every game, but those are definitely circling in my mind that we got to get as a team. Uh, what team in the league do you view as a favorite with everything, you know, you put yourself out of the equation to reach, reach the top five in the conference? Uh, Middle Tennessee, probably just because they won in the tournament last year, so they probably might be the favorites uh, just coming into that. and into this season up, and also a UAB as well, because they're always one of the top teams in our league. So we just try, we just want to try to come for them and just try to play hard. Uh, you mentioned you're senior. Is that the kind of legacy <coughs> you want to leave? What kind of goals do you have for the, the rest of the conference? Uh, I just want to win. Like I just want to do whatever it takes to win and help lead this team. We all get on the same page and just go down as champions at the end of the day. Of the league and and go on to the tournament and make noise there. So that's all I'm focused on. Well, I think it's it's going to be done collectively. Um, Jason obviously was here last year. We're looking for more production from him. Elmo Stevens, Eric Nodich, Mike Kessens, who's new, and, and a, a collection of other guys. Um, I don't think one person can give us what Davion gave us or what Adrian gave us. So two, three guys have to pick up the slack from Adrian. Two, three guys have to pick up the slack from Davion. So it's got to be a, a, you know, a culmination of, of players to be able to make up that difference. I mean, the chemistry is the biggest thing, trying to get guys to understand their role and to play together. So that's probably um, the toughest challenge. But, you know, it's, it's enjoyable uh, because you get a new collection of guys. You get new personalities, different talents, and you have to try to mold those. And, and it's, it's a challenge, but a fun one. Um, you mean in terms of somebody being a surprise? Or I think Eric Lockett was probably the biggest surprise for me. Um, when we first got him, we, we just thought he was a, a defensive player, but he's shown the ability to play multiple positions and offensively do some things that we didn't think he can do. Uh, so he's been the biggest surprise. But other guys, you know, as they come along, they're going to get better. Um, they're going to be able to, to feel more comfortable and show their true talent. Well, I think either way, you know, obviously winning uh, close games like that breeds confidence. And, and when you don't win those games, you can still learn from them. So I think the understanding of what to do and what not to do at the end of the game, I think those things help you in them actually going through it. Somebody pressed you in some, you know, the last couple seconds of the game, going after a rebound as if it was the last one that you're ever going to get. Things like that I think were important for them. Uh, so that now when we get in those situations, they'll be more comfortable and they'll know. Can, can you talk about the two gentlemen you have up here with you and hmm? their attributes and, and uh, I'm assuming they've worked with their previous head coach. Sure. Why, you know, talk about why that is and what they've done. Well, Jason has, has been with me for four years. He's actually my, my first recruit. So his importance to this program, um, he believed in it when other people wouldn't and didn't. You know, we, we had the APR penalty and, and things of that nature. We couldn't go to postseason the first year, but he decided to come here. He believed in me. He believed in the vision that, that we talked to him about. And I give him a lot of credit because a lot of people wouldn't have come because there was a chance we could have gone on, on penalty for two years. So him, he's a, a, a you know, a stalemate, uh, you know, a person 
who's the foundation of this program. So whatever happens from this point on, uh, he helped, you know, he helped to start that. Uh, so he's extremely important to the program. I'm thankful that he's here. I'm looking forward to him having a great year. Uh, he's one of the most versatile players that we have on this team. Last year he started off really well, uh, and then once he got hurt, he kind of tailed off. But his versatility helps us a lot. He's experienced. He understands the game. Played on a great AAU team, so you know he he knows um, or he's played against some of the best competition out there. So you know he's extremely important to the program. And Dante, obviously Dante comes back as our leading scorer, but for him, he's helped to kind of change the culture. Um, I always say when your best player is your hardest worker, you have a chance to be successful. And he's our hardest worker. And I've never seen someone get in the gym five, six times a day before we practice or after we practice. But that's the work ethic that he has. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely happy that he's here, that he chose to come here. And uh, I look forward to him having a great year as well. A lot of people just asking us for bigger success now. And I'll probably take this time and look at it. You got the uh, Cody? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got yeah. Hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.